What up, people? Another update from Epic RC. Uh, you guys see my X01? Well, I've done some serious upgrades to it. Um, I'm going to show you guys what's under the hood. Um, I added some carbon fiber on the spoiler there and also on the running boards, rocker panels, whatever you want to call them, side skirts. It's all good. Okay, so here we go. You guys know probably if you've been following my channel, I ordered that 2200K or KV Poseidon motor, 1717, and an XL2 for the Rustler. That's not going to happen now. Um, I'm probably going to order some more stuff from Poseidon. Um, so far, I'm in love with their motor. I took it apart and looked inside, and man, that thing's quality. So, really like it. I took it apart side by side, the X01 motor, and uh, you can see the difference in quality. Um, just the way the thing's wrapped inside and, and the rotor and all that. It's just, it just screams quality. So, yeah, thank you, Poseidon. Um, I'm using 8 mil bullet connectors for everything under here. I've got them all nice and protected as well, so they ain't going to be arcing out. They're shrink-wrapped and then covered in that uh, that tube as well. So, um, yeah, they should be good to go. Um, going to get a Spectrum, I think, or a Savox high-torque, high-speed servo for here. I put the uh, Spectrum in my buggy. Uh, if you guys want to check out my Offna LX2 video, you'll see that servo I put in there. Um, seems to be awesome and I've heard good things about it so not a huge fan of Spectrum's radio stuff but um, we'll see how their servos go um, yeah so I did a quick little carbon wrap on the brace up there I think it looks pretty cool takes away from that bright silver shine there it sticks out like a sore thumb <clears throat> um, you guys have any mods for keeping the rocks out of this thing and preventing it from pretty much being a road vacuum I'd appreciate that too. Um, don't know if there's any way around it. It's not a big deal, but it's just kind of annoying. So if you guys have a tip for that, please shoot me a comment. That'd be great. There's the XL2. Pretty awesome. Got that for a great buy from Dollar Hobbies. Super cheap, man. Awesome. I've got a nice little foam pad that I've cut out for my GPS. It's going to sit right in here. Right on. I know uh, MT Tookie's got a very similar setup, man. Uh, just sort of uh, fell together like this. It wasn't intentional, but um, like I said, this stuff was going to go in rusty. But um, I'm having some problems with the rear toe on my Rustler with the Jado arms. If any of you guys know of a bearing carrier with a 3.5 degree toe in, that I can find. The only one I could find was for an X01 and that doesn't work with my axles. Um, pretty annoying. Um, so that's sort of on the side for now until I can fix that problem. Hopefully I can before spring. Uh, yeah, so if you guys got any help for that problem with my Rustler, get me some toe in on that thing because it's towed out right now with the uh, with the aluminum Traxxas bearing carriers, axle carriers, it's super annoying. Oh, that's the last last key to that project, that and getting a new system for it, which isn't too big a deal. It's the shipping on these items were both very quick. Poseidon was like a week, and the XL2 is like a week and a half to get here, so I can just slam an order for those and put that thing together whenever. I'm going to have another update on Rusty coming up soon. Um, so exciting to be so close to the end with that build, but so far away at the same time. So, just... Giving you a check out of the XO and uh, where it's at. There you go, guys. Any tips on setting this thing up for super quick runs? Let me know. We've got it set set up right now just for drifting. Um, that'll change once I get some good asphalt. So. Watch for more videos, bros. Anyways, thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.